Hi, everybody. All right. We're going to be fast because we got a lot to cover. Uh, what you're watching me do today is rewire my fly LEDs, right? So there's the big connector that attaches to the control board. And what I'm doing for the next couple of videos is I'm rewiring and I'm taking the hideously massive Molex connectors off and I'm putting smaller ones. I believe they're point. 092 scale Molex connectors. Basically, before I'd had the 18 gauge wires in the Molex size where 18 was the smallest gauge possible for them, so they were monstrous, right? I'm now moving them to the Molex size where 18 is the biggest size that fits inside, right? So much smaller, more compact, streamlined, and uh, pretty. So that's what I'm working on for the rest of the video. Uh, let's get Right into some viewer questions. Michael, uh, a friend of mine, was asking me about uh, fuselage weight he's building at home. So if you're building at home, once you put that tail cone to the fuselage, uh, I want to say it's about, I don't know, probably only 200 pounds. Now that's without canopy, that's without anything. That's with, you know, for me that's just tail cone, fuselage, you know, the back deck plates and the cargo bay and the rudder pedals. Right. Even with the rotisserie on, it really only takes three people for us to roll that thing around. So, yeah, it's about 200-ish, 250 pounds. 250 pounds. Okay, second question is, um, and I love getting this because I can tell that I can tell when people have started watching the videos, but they don't actually go back and watch them all because they start they keep asking questions about stuff that I've covered five weeks ago. I mean, look, which is cool. I just find it kind of cute. Uh, what color are you painting the inside of your <laughs> cockpit. Oh, well, if you look over my shoulder, you'll see that it's gray. Look, folks, that's not a primer. That's the actual color. Okay. So, yes, gray. And the outside will be... Mm, well, you'll see. Okay, so that's that about that. All right, next thing, some rants. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, to the overweight construction worker standing in line behind me at uh, Home Depot whose Bluetooth headphones died while we were in line waiting to check out and then all of a sudden his phone came alive with extremely loud porn. Go f*** yourself. I'm standing there with my wife and all of a sudden we're just chatting about something and ah, uh, and you just start hearing the moaning and the screaming. I'm like, Jesus, someone's getting filled out in the hardware section. What the hell? And then I realize it's the guy behind me. Pick your spots, dude. I mean, what the hell? Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, okay. So, to, to, to people across the country shaming people for wearing masks and other people shaming for not wearing masks, uh, I don't want to get into it, but you, you all suck, right? And to those New Yorkers screaming at people to get out of their store because they're not wearing a mask, look, they're New Yorkers, everyone. They're Yankees, and therefore they already suck, so there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> Oh, uh, if my mom were alive, she would laugh at that. All right, something a little bit uh, lighter-hearted. So, uh, we're going to have a giveaway, right? Ooh, like it's one of these big fancy channels. Uh, the rotisserie. It's time for the rotisserie to find a new home. I It has treated me well. I've done some good work with it, but now it's time for her to find a new home. So, we're going to have a contest. Uh, I'm going to put my email address in the description of the video below, along with the contest rules. What I want you to do is I want you to send me a picture of your build, and you can be in it. You can attach naked pictures of your pets. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to crack myself up. Uh, and try to make it humorous, right? So uh, tell me why you need the rotisserie. Uh, Contest rules are that I'm not shipping this thing to anybody, all right? Ain't happening. You got to come and pick this thing up. This is local pickup only. Now, I don't care where you're from, and I don't care how far you drive to get it. You can come and get it, but I'm not shipping it to anybody. Uh, the other rule is that when you come to pick it up, I will put you to work <laughs> for a session in my own plane. Plain and simple. Uh, bribes will, they won't win you favor, but they will be accepted, and they are always appreciated. And let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, uh, if you just, uh, cheese, cheesecake will basically, if you send me cheesecake, you basically win. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's, look, it's, it's weird time, folks. It's late May in California, and it's raining where I am. 
Yeah, that never happens. And just uh, everything's upside down. It's a bizarre world. Okay, so next week we'll continue to, to rework the hideous Molex connectors and put on some nice fresh ones, and we'll get on to some more building stuff. So have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.